From strand tricks to extreme damage resistance, here are 10 and a half things in Destiny 2 that you might not know. What I'm about to show you is an exploit, so use with caution. Did you know that for some reason, strand warlocks are able to melee twice in extremely fast succession? By inputting a jump right after pressing an uncharged melee, you will cancel the ending lag of your melee for an extremely fast kill. This has implications for both DPS with like a damage boosting exotic like Winter's Guile, or just a simple way to be a hard shutdown or be an aggressor in PvP. We tried this with other classes, but thankfully, no luck. This also doesn't seem to work with my Blink Warlock. I expect this to get patched pretty darn fast, so have fun while it lasts, because this is absolutely not intended. Blocking with the sword is quite interesting. I have seen some people say that your sword block is a full 360 degree bubble, and others say it's just in front of you. The truth is they are both right, or both wrong, depending on your point of view. It, you see, sword blocking does cover a huge portion of your body, including your feet from below. But just like the Cabal's crit spot in their back, it doesn't protect you from being shot directly behind. Meaning that while this does block basically everything in front of you and around you, it doesn't mean that you can't outmaneuver it and shoot them in the back dealing normal damage. While we're talking about swords, did you know that the Stronghold's a Titan exotic that boosts the guard's stats on all swords is single-handedly the largest individual source of damage resistance in the game? This block is so crazy that it can almost fully block an entire Chaos Reach, a feat which not even most supers can boast. The next time you're thinking about turning your Titan to a walking tank, look no further than these gauntlets. We're probably gonna end up making a video about all these can block, because it's, it's wild. Here is a really neat trick I found recently. Using your super will cancel most other animations in the game, and with the Lightning Surge melee on Warlock, which is your slide melee, and a Chaos Reach, you can get this really cool teleporting Kamehameha effect. Revision Zero has been out for some time now, and in between the newly dropped Autumn Wind Pulse Rifle or the Immortal SMG from Trials, it's fallen a bit out of focus. But here's a cool fact that might make you pick it back up again. Revision Zero, when it's in its sniper rifle mode, maintains all of the stats from its Pulse Rifle mode. This doesn't mean much in most cases, but this has a huge benefit for its hip fire because as you know, hip firing a sniper is a bit like playing the lottery, but hip firing a pulse is pretty consistent. The new armor system brought a suite of new changes, but some mods were subtly nerfed and or buffed alongside it. Did you know that the holster mods were quietly tuned to be much faster than their previous iterations? This means with just one holster mod equipped, picking up a shell is almost an instantaneous reload for all your special weapons. With multiple equipped, it is entirely conceivable to never really need to reload smaller magazined weapons ever again. And this is a huge lifesaver for fast moving PVP environments. One of my biggest pet peeves in Destiny 2 is this mechanic which destroys your kneecaps on high landings. For me, it just doesn't fit the fantasy of an indestructible space wizard when I lose my ability to fight for three seconds from a drop that's just slightly too high, but never fear, because as it turns out, this big movement in your aim is purely visual. Yep, if you take the time to lock your sights, drop and buckle your knees, and don't touch your mouse or your aim stick, your shot will stay exactly where you left it. It's still a pain to deal with and makes hard to hit moving targets, but at least you know how to deal with it. If you only main one class or did what I did and didn't feel like grinding over 3000 strand meditations on all three classes, you might have missed that your strand grapple melees are different depending on if you are a hunter, warlock, or a titan. Warlocks do a sort of force palm in the end of their grapple, hunters do a sort of knife swipe, and titans, in classic titan fashion, 
use their fist. All right, so maybe you knew that. Then allow me to add another bonus, a half of a thing you might not know on top. Sometimes when you're swinging around like green Spider-Man, you might want to do your ending melee, but the game doesn't detect any targets in front of you, so it just defaults to your charged melee. If you want to get around this, set your controller or keyboard to have some way of forcefully using your uncharged melee, then the game will always end with the splash melee every single time you use it. This can be good for just a tad bit of extra movement as well. Did you know that strand tangles will persist in between rounds in PvP? If you were one of the 17 bazillion players that were grinding the god roll of the immortal SMG, you might have noticed a stray strand tangle when you respawned. And this is why. For whatever reason, the game just will drop whatever strand ball you were holding when it takes you back to the spawn point, which can mean you can actually position this ball where you want to right as the round ends. Even stranger perhaps, is that this ball goes from being, obviously being a friendly strand tangle to being a hostile one. Really odd. If you are a strand hunter main, this tip is extremely handy. You probably know that you can catch your rope dart and you probably know that mistiming the catch will result in you just swinging your knife instead of grabbing the dart. Well, no longer. By setting your input method to have some means of using your charged melee, you can guarantee a catch on the rope dart because it will never try to swing the knife and will always prioritize trying to catch the dart. This is an extremely handy little tip if you aren't able to watch your knife's path, but want to get that little bit of melee energy back anyway. And just a quick thing before we go, we're doing a thing where every month we're going to take one of our designs from our merch shop and make it into a sticker. If you're able to collect all 12 stickers from all 12 months, we're gonna give you community rank within our clan. So if that's something that's interesting to you, you know, the link is in the description. I'll probably pin it in the comment as well. But for real though, I do need ideas. I need things that you don't know. We're running out of stuff. We've pretty much exhausted a lot of it outside of doing some stuff that is relatively common knowledge at this point. So please let me know of anything like that in the comment section. I'm genuinely interested. As always, subscribe or I steal your small intestine. Bless your faces and deuces.